Hello everyone. Uh, today let us take up the next problem on NS2 simulation. So before uh, we take up this uh, problem, so let me uh, let us go through this. So if you observe right here, you will have to create uh, six nodes. Those six nodes need to be nomenclatured as n not to the n phi, and you will have to connect those by using the duplex links and how to connect it is also it is already given so you need to connect from n0 to the n2 n1 to the n2 again from n2 to the n3 and n3 to the n4 n4 to the n5 so whereas all these duplex links should have the a bandwidth which is given as 0.1 mbps and also the delay of 10 milliseconds of delay so all the links has the same bandwidth and the same delay so there thereby again we need to create the uh, two ping agents very importantly you need to create two ping agents and you need to attach them you are supposed to attach them to the nodes n0 and the n2 you will have to attach them to the n0 and n2 and you need to connect those agents and schedule the transmission of ping messages at the interval of 0.2 seconds and we need to finish everything within one second so this is what uh, the given scenario for that you will have to write, a, write the TCL script and observe that uh, packet flow so in the uh, NAM simulator network inhibitor simulator again uh, same way let me uh, divide this uh, complete problem or uh, even before I divide this problem even I even before I divide this complete problem into the multiple parts first I would like to highlight here uh, for as a brief let me highlight here about the uh, ping or the working of the ping basically why do you make use of this ping in the sense so the general usage of this ping it is to check whether the device is uh, whenever say for example when any one device wanted to have a communication with the other device that sender device or the source device need to make sure that the receiver device is available active or not so i call it as i need to if i want to make sure that whether the remote device is active or not so i want to make sure that whether the remote device is active or inactive so making sure that is possible by means of the ping message so at that when you whenever you whenever you say that you want to make sure this in the sense this is achieved by because of the icmp messages you call it as icmp messages but what are those icmp messages in the sense it is what icmp request and reply icmp request and reply so wherein say for example if say for example then there is a node a wanted to have communicate with the b so i call it as node a and node b so in this pers in this scenario node a has to send the request node a has to send the icmp request whereas b has to respond back with the icmp re reply so you call it as reply so a has to send the request to the b wherein b has to respond back with the reply which is icmp reply wherein thus if you definitely if you get the uh, response from b to a then only you say that b is still active a can make sure that b is active then it can perform the data transmission if you if b if you did not get any response from b back to a so a will conclude that b is inactive understand so whenever uh, the, the same way when A checking the connectivity to the B in the same way B can also check the connectivity back to the A so as such B has to send the ICMP request to the A whereas A has to respond back with the ICMP reply so that you may also call it as a echo message exchange so when in so these this ICMP message exchange is expected to have that uh, transmission but suppose what I mean to say the packet a request packet which is sent from A to the B and the re response packet which is sent from back B back to the A that time taken to transfer to have this trans transfer we usually call it as a uh, 
RTT which is said as round trip time so which is as the name itself specified it's the round trip time to make a, a round from A to the B and B back to the A that is what the round trip time which is the a time consumption which is consumed between A to the B that is what round trip time I mean to say here next so it, you you will also you can also find out the uh, the ping message which is also provide you the details related to the uh, packet loss you call it as packet loss or packet drop how many packets have been dropped or how many packets have been uh, lost because of the congestion and in connectivity in the network and you may you will also get the uh, ttl as well just time to leave so like this the these are the this is just a brief introduction about the you are uh, working with the ping messages in any network so i also, i can also give you a, a slight um, overview right here so if at all if i am the this is my mission if i want to make you check the connectivity to the node with the ip addresses 192 168 and 44 and 128 so this is what so from my mission i want to check the connectivity to this mission in that case i will have to provide as ping followed by the respective ip address ip address of the particular device so as soon as i give this here this is what you call it as these are what the things you call it as ping messages see from this i want you to make sure that so let me stop this ping flow so here if you observe there are totally 10 packets have been transferred to where to the respective node that is what it is mentioned here totally 10 packets have been transferred very importantly you should also make make sure that all the 10 packets are received see and remember one thing this kind of packet flow will happen only if the receiver is active if the receiver is active then only this kind of packet flow will happen i let me show you this so you can you can observe right here so this is where the case i want you to observe right here in this case if you observe so when i when i try to the ip when i try to the device with the ip address 192.168.44.1 from 128 from my device i that device that this device is hoping that i hope that this device is active so i am getting this icmp message flow icmp message flow wherein in this example if you observe as the device with this ip address is inactive which is not active at this moment of time so i do not get i do not get that icmp packet flow or the message flow if you observe so so what is happening that you are i'm getting the message as destination is unreachable i'm getting the message as destination unreachable you can try out with any 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 ip address so i'll say that 128.4.0.28 uh, uh, to 28 so i may get uh, you you can try with any particular uh, or any kind of ip addresses so if the device is available active if the device is available active then only you will get the icmp message flow if the device is not active so then you will get such this kind of uh, i would say the error which is when the device is inactive so from this i want you to make it out one important point is that so from here itself you have to make out one important point here such that so how many bytes a packet contains here very importantly this is what 64 bytes remember so this is very important at the time of simulation this i am going to show you this as well so this is what so i i consider here as packet size packet size remember it is what 64 bytes Re keep this in mind this is what very important point which i want you to uh, remember next that's what the uh, first thing second thing second thing is that in this if you observe from the particular device you are getting that uh, messages and you are also getting this ttl which is time to leave and and this is what a time which is taken which is the time taken to transfer that particular message which is what you call i call it as round trip time so how much milli how many milliseconds are considered so that so those itself are considered here already and uh, put this so this is the second point which you i want you to note down which is rtt round round trip time so and it is represented in the form of uh, milliseconds 
so I I'll say it as milliseconds. So how many milliseconds does it con consume to transfer? So which is milliseconds. Next point I want you to make sure this is very very important, which is this, which is packet loss. How many packets are actually transferred? How many packets are received? And are there any? packet loss see in this case as this was successful so when the 10 packets are transferred all the 10 packets received so it is data loss is what zero percentage whereas in this example when you transferred five packets received is what nothing nothing is received so i call you say it as 100 percent packet loss so this is the next point i want you to highlight here what is the packet loss I, you call it as that's what already I had written here either you say it as a packet loss or packet drop this is the next point you will have to highlight here so these are the three major factors you're supposed to know here in in this perspective which is what is the size of the packet and what is the round trip time and what is the a packet loss or you need to make sure that whether there is a packet loss or the drop occurred at the time of ping process or not so this is the simple or the basic uh, introduction with this basic introduction let us uh, let me go back to the problem here in this problem statement what is uh, provided you can uh, look into it so it says that you need to create a network with the how many nodes it's supposed to be there there's supposed to be a uh, six nodes and you will have to connect those six nodes by using the duplex links itself wherein there should be a link for between n0 to the n2 and n1 to the n2 wherein n2 to the n3 n3 to the n4 and finally n4 and the n5 so totally how many links you may get you will get five links it is one two three four and five links and what is the capacity of each link it is also specified all the five links are expected to have the same bandwidth of 0.1 mbps and the delay of 10 milliseconds which is delay now what are you supposed to do you will have to create two ping agents two you will have to create two ping agents with respect to the nodes which is n0 and n2 you need to create two ping agents for n0 and n2 and you just connect them connect them as soon as you connect them you when at the time of simulation for controlling the simulation it is said that the time interval for controlling the simulation it is a time interval of 0.2 seconds and that need to be continued for one second so till that you will have to perform so in this scenario in the for this scenario itself let us write the tcl script right now so let us write the tcl script so when i as soon as i say that we are going to write the tcl script however i used to say for every video i hope you are follow you are following my uh, previous videos as well so again so before i start with the a tcl script writing again i request you all guys, you guys to go through this video which is the beginner approach to the uh, working with ns2 a beginner approach this is in this video i had explained in detail working of them are the basic working strategies which are required in case of ns2 so please go through this working with ns2 then now let us start with the current problem so as this is what the fourth problem I am taking up. So let me name it as a 4.tcl. I'll just name it as 4.tcl. So in this 4.tcl, so uh, however, you know, a very uh, simple uh, things. So let us first, let us create the, first let us create the simulator, simulator panel. I'll say simulator panel and simulation. So first I need to set NS. So I'll just set NS new simulator. So I'm calling the a class file simulator. So I'm calling the class file simulator. So then I'll set the a TRF link or the a pointer for the trace file. So again as usual I, I give the name as a 4.tr for the trace file and I open that with the right mode. So then so I, I need to uh, execute that or in the other way let me say that I need to trace it so that's what dollar ns trace all trace all what I'm tracing it is the dollar trf so this is what I'm this is what I am tracing then next is that set so it is namf nam file 
so which I'm going to uh, NAMP file which I supposed to I am opening it as a, a NAMP file so it is 4.nam 4.nam and open with the right mode then in the same way I'll have to uh, trace that so it is $ns and NAM trace it just it's not just a trace it is what NAM trace all and what I'm tracing it is what dollar NAM F so like that so I'm just said I uh, just with a set uh, just pre initialized with the uh, simulator panel now let us let me create the nodes so I'll say that node creation nodes creation I hope you remembered how many nodes you'll have to create you'll have to create six nodes from our uh, based on the problem perspective so set n not so dollar ns so what i'm creating i'm creating node so this how many nodes i need to create it is totally six nodes i'll have to create so yeah so i'll say that n1 n0 n1 n2 n3 n4 and n5 so n0 to the n5 totally six nodes are created so then i need to um, uh, connect them so for connecting them so i'll need to make use of the duplex links so i'll say that link uh, creation so at the link creation obviously i'll be making use of the duplex links so it is dollar ns so i'll be using the duplex link between so if you remember so between what no what and all the nodes will have to make use so it is said that it is n0 and n2 n1 and n2 so based on the given problem statement so let us uh, create so I, re I repeat it is n0 to the n0 to the n2 n1 to the n2 so again n2 to the n3 so that is what uh, let me first write this n0 um, so i'll have to create yeah from a dollar n0 and dollar n2 so this is what uh, one uh, link and it is also mentioned that i'll have to provide the 0.1 mbps of bandwidth and 10 milliseconds of delay so again as usual i'll be using the drop tail mechanism so this is what one of the li first link i will say as link one so like this totally i said i need to create five links so five links the second one is link one link uh, one is obviously from n0 to the n2 again n1 to the n2 again n2 to the n3 again n3 to n4 and finally from n4 to the n5 so in that means you just created the five links you can observe so like this you created the five links uh, between the uh, six nodes by setting the respective bandwidth of 0.1 mbps and the delay as uh, 10 milliseconds so delay as uh, 10 milliseconds so the next let us take up the uh, let's uh, get into the next very important part so which is what creation of the it is what creation of the ping agents which is very very important and remember those ping agents i need to connect to the n0 and n2 i need to connect between n0 and n2 so that is what i'll say it as yeah so i'll say that creation of agents agent creation so i need to create the agents so for creating agent so again as usual so i'll make use of set uh, as I need to have two, I need to have two ping uh, ping agents. So I'll say that ping no, ping zero for uh, ping zero for uh, ping zero for a not. So I'll I need to provide so as as I'm creating a ping agent. It is agent slash ping followed by a dollar ns. I need to attach this to which node I'll be attaching. Remember, I'll be attaching to the attach agent attach agent i'll be attaching with the n0 so what i am attaching i am attaching the ping 0 so in the same way i'll have to create the same way i will have to create one more uh, agent so which that i'll call let me call that as a ping 2 and i'll be attaching that with the n2 so like that i just created the two ping agents and one ping agent 0 i attached with the 
uh, n0 and ping2 uh, attached with the n2 then later so let me connect them so for connecting them so dollar ns connect dollar ns uh, connect and so i'll be connecting let me provide so uh, let me assume that ping 0 is connected to the uh, ping 2 so ping 0 is connected to the ping 2 so then for if at all if you want to have a differentiation so i'll say that coloring so if at all if you want to have a differentiation for uh, request and response because already i said with respect to the uh, pinging so where will, there is exchange of icmp uh, request and response messages so in your nam file if at all if you want to have that kind of differentiation so then uh, let me provide the coloring so for that so obviously i have to make use of two colors so let me make use of a dollar in as color so i let me make use of color one as red yeah dollar uh, n s color uh, two and that color which is let me use it as green so then these i'll be uh, let me attach so as dollar ping uh, zero so for this i'll attach a set class underscore one so whereas for the second one which is what i called as ping uh, 2 set class underscore 2 so underscore space 2 so like this i just made the uh, for your differentiation that's it so then this is what, till here it's okay now is the actual uh, process i call it as so when the uh, when the execution will happen so you will have to uh, set the rtt which is uh, or you need to make sure that the ping agent is also happening within the this rtt which you, which you call as uh, round trip time so with respect to that or for that purpose itself so now you need to uh, define that agent which agent we are talking about it is the ping agent so you see this how to define that in the sense you will be defining agent slash ping and whatever the instruction whatever we have for that i will be defining the procedure so it is what receiving so from which node from with respect to the rtt so remember this is rtt in the lower case so then next so then so from where from the self self node so it is what instant variable node so that's how you just need to define it so you just need to define it this is how you'll be defining the defining the agent i'll say it as define agent i'll say the define agent for rtd so that's how we'll be defining next as usually you have for uh, finish function so it is what procedure finish this is the general thing what you, you had in the uh, previous uh, programs as well so yeah then uh, i need to declare the uh, global variables so what and all i use it is ns i used again i used a uh, trf i used again i used the nama file so so then uh, i just need to uh, execute them so for that executing so it is what yeah nam so even before that exiting you can flush it so no issue you can also exit like this also no issue so in four dot nam because that's what my nam file then i need to flush everything so that's what dollar ns flush trace flush trace so uh, once the flush trace is done then i'll be closing so what and all i need to close i i open two so those i need to close close trf again close namf so close namf then as usual exit zero so this is what the uh, finished procedure so that's what it is done we are at the last step what is the what is in the last step if you observe so what is there in the last step so you need to make sure that uh, that ping messages flowing should happen for every uh, interval of 0.2 seconds interval of 0.2 seconds and it has to be stopped at the one second so that's that we'll do now so 
yeah so i need to make sure that let me start at dollar ns at so let me start at point 2 so and dollar where is the dollar yeah dollar ping so obviously i need to start so ping zero has to stand send because if you observe right here in the connect statement i connected ping zero to the two it means to say that ping two will be acting as sender whereas ping two will so ping zero will be acting as sender ping two will be acting as a receiver so it is something like a connect, checking the connectivity from n naught to the n n two n naught to the n two so n naught has to send the uh, request packet n two has to send back the response packet that is what the scenario here n two should send the request packet n two has to send back the response packet so in that scenario I need to make sure that ping two is the one which has to keep sending and uh, based on the question it is said that it is for the for the uh, interval of uh, point 0.2 so it is at the point 0.2 point 0.4 so i'll say it as mm, yeah so i'll say it as uh, for every intervals of 4 sec uh, i'm going to say a uh, 2 second point 0.2 seconds that's what it is said so and uh, so it will, this will become point point 0.4 again this will be 0 0.6 0 0.8 whereas it is also said that you need to stop it at the one second so only it is what dollar ns so you need to finish at what at 1.0 you need to call the finish yeah you need to call the finish and finally his as usual will be having dollar ns and run so this is what the uh, complete program so further what are uh, based on the requirement what are all the changes to be done that i'll be showing further so as of now this is enough so let me uh, run this so i'll say ns 4.tcl so now if you observe ns 4.tcl so in this example yeah uh, so uh, there is no um, there is no much uh, distance between point, uh, 0 and 2 see here one thing you should understand yeah based on the problem we considered this network where with the uh, six nodes but actually we are, will be working with only these two nodes which is 0 and the 2 only 0 will be sending and 2 will be uh, responding back so this is what 2 will be sending sorry 0 will be sending the uh, request packet whereas 2 will be responding back with the response packet so I, I hope you can make it out uh, from the based on the colors so there is a, a 2 will send and 2 uh, sorry 0 will send 2 will respond back and the, that is happening for every interval of 2 to point two point two seconds so uh, this is what 0 this is what point 1 2 3 4 like that so for every point 0.2 seconds if you want all of you want you can uh, yeah so let you if you want you uh, I can also run once again for your for your understanding I can also run once again now you can see this is what 0 and this is what 2 so this is only these two we are bothering about based on the problem statement so 0 will send the request packet 2 will send back the response packet so 0 is sending the request packet 2 will be sending back the response packet so it will happen at the point 0.2 seconds you can observe it will happen at this time point 0.2 seconds so then again it will happen at the point 0.4 second you can observe again it will happen at the point 0.6 seconds it will happen at point 0.6 seconds and finally it will happen at the point 0.8 seconds so that is what it is given in the uh, problem statement so that's about the uh, visualization so now let me go to the yeah let me go to the um, trace file so let me open the trace file 4.tr so inside this uh, 4.tr this from this itself i want you to make it out very clear point very clear points few very clear points as such here if you observe the this uh, first event which is it is plus which is nq minus is dq r is receive so again plus minus r the it means to say that you if you observe right here in this event part so which you do you you did not find any see because the simulation started at the point two and it will send next packet at point four next it will send at point eight next it will send at the point eight so from this complete thing you can you need to make sure that one thing that there is no nothing like d so it means to say that there is no drop of the packet i repeat this there is no drop of the packet because i told you to make uh, make a note of this which is packet loss you need to identify this you need to identify this does is there a packet loss or not 
so i am repeating here based on this trace file you need to make sure that or you need to conclude that there is no drop of the data there is no drop of the packet which has which are occurring here next is that so next very important thing which is happening you just cons let me consider let me consider these if you consider this so because when it is sent at the point 2 so from the at the point 2 seconds from the 0 to the 2 you are sending the packet again which is nq again it will be received successfully again you will be sending back the response from 2 to the back to the 0 so it, it this is what you will be sending the request packet from 0 to the 2 and this is what you will be sending back back from 2 to the 0 whereas what is the size of the packet i said it is what 64 64 bytes so even if you remembered i made you to sh make sure made you to write down what is the packet size it is what 64 bytes so this is what i wanted to see here the size of this ping ping packets here it is 64 bytes and this is what 64 bytes then again the flow the traffic flow for the traffic flow for the uh, uh, traffic flow for the request packet and the res uh, response packet both will not be same this is what traffic flow for the request packet it is what one 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 whereas these are what response packet two 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 again this is the request packet at the point four second it is one 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 again this is what point this is the response packet for which is flow is 222 two, two, like this the flow with flow id will be will not be same for the request packet and the response packet it is what one one and two so it is getting varied so that's the uh, thing you're supposed to uh, make sure the next uh, final point i want you to highlight here you i told you to find out so i i said about this packet size and i also i shown with respect to the packet loss that i said that there is no packet loss because you did not find any d here there is no drop at all and the final point i want you to find out it is what round trip time it is what round trip time i say it as round trip time which is in the milliseconds how to find out that in the sense manually you can do it manually you can do it as assume that assume that see this packet transmission is started at what what time it is at the 0.2 seconds it is started at the 0.2 seconds and by the time it is it is received the response it is what 0.230 now you subtract 0.230 i repeat 0.23024 0.23024 minus 0.2 so when you subtract that i repeat it is 0.2304 0.2304 I say it as point stand there let me take up yeah yeah mm -hmm. it is not happening okay uh, let me 0.2304 minus 0.2 so can you see this this is what round trip time which is what 0 0.0304 this is the round trip time for the uh, first ping message or ping uh, packet transmission when you transferred your request packet and by the time you got back the response time this is what the uh, this is what the uh, round trip time which is point zero point zero three zero four it you can also this you can also mention it as a 30.4 milliseconds you can also write it as like that so i hope you are getting that so this is where the, the, what is the starting time it is 0 0.2 what is ending time this is what what is ending time it is 0 0.22024 so you may get as 0 0.03024 so it will it will be something like 30.24 that is what round trip time of the first packet it is what uh, 0 0.0 0 0.03024 seconds or in the other way you can say it as 30.24 milliseconds 30.24 milliseconds again find out for the second packet what is the starting time it is a 0 0.4 what is ending time it is again 0 0.43024 when you separate 0 0.43024 minus the starting time which is 0 0.4 you will get as what 0 0.03024 seconds which is as same as 30.24 milliseconds so that is how you can find out the that is how you can find out the uh, round trip time manually otherwise i repeat otherwise you can also find you can also uh, find out the round trip time if you don't want to find out manually you you just include one statement here i repeat you just include the one statement here at the time when you define your 
when you uh, the time when you define your uh, agent for round trip time this is where you include one statement as puts because you will be displaying back so i'll say it as the node which node it is what dollar node so which are the receiver node has so i understand i am i'm just inserting one statement here so received uh, it is received yeah uh, received replay from which node from the a particular so i'll say as dollar from which node from within or in the other way say that with round trip time of so see this is what the this is not the parameter this is the just a word you can also write is round trip time you can also write like this whereas of here you should mention the a parameter dollar rtt the whatever the parameters you are using here what are the parameters you may use i'll just close the uh, i'll just close this um, uh, double press right now you see let me run this if you can you can you can you visualize this right now so node zero has received the replay from the two for the this is for the first packet this is for the first packet remember within what within what time it is for 30.2 milliseconds i repeat this is what i even i shown with respect to the uh, trace file also so it is what starting time is what 0.2 ending time is what 0.23024 when you subtract 0.2304 minus 0.2 you'll get was you'll get what 0.03024 seconds when you convert that into the milliseconds you'll get as 30.24 milliseconds and here also you're getting the same so that's how you can either you find out manually otherwise you can uh, directly you can uh, give that command uh, sorry give that if you include that extra statement where, wherein you can also find out the uh, uh, round trip time directly like this so the, that's what the round trip time for uh, the first packet second third and the fourth so either you, die, you found it from the trace file manually otherwise you show it like this that's the first thing second thing is that here i shown that i said that there is no drop of the packets because there is no d event here there is no event d in the trace file until unless you doesn't have the d here so it you can conclude that there is no drop at all there is no drop of the packets at all again i repeat for this purpose you can there is other be manually you can find out from the trace file whether the, there is a d event or not you manually you just check it is there a d event here or not if there is a d event then there is a drop but here there is no d event at all so you can conclude that there is no drop at all in the other way also you can do it so for that let me make use of one more extra con additional concept as awk file so let me create the awk file so here so there is a simple uh, yeah simple uh, few lines of uh, code you supposed to know so i'll just begin with that and let me initialize the count so count with the zero so because I, it has to keep counting how many packets which are uh, which has the which are dropped so that so what is the uh, draw see basically event the event so in the trace file also if you observe yeah where is it in the trace file that d event d based on that itself i told you to make uh, identify remember in the trace file i told you to identify the whether the packet is dropped or not based on the event this this itself which is the uh, first parameter based on this first parameter itself you need to make uh, make it uh, or the you need to prove that whether the drop is occurred or not which is the first parameter which is the first e parameter is event and if it is d or not if it is d then only it is there is a drop so only in my awk file event it is will be at the first column event will be at the first column and what i will be checking if what if event is equal to d if event is equal to d then only i need to increment the count which is number of packets maybe maybe not exactly maybe drop 
if the event is d then only you need to in, uh, increment the uh, count if not i just need to end it so here so make sure that you initialize the count then you make sure that you are only dealing with the first column of the trace file if the first column of the trace file is d then you need to increment, increment the count if not end it so i'll just say that once after you end up you need to print it so it is what num number of packets drop r so i'll just say mod d slash n and what is that value so yeah and then slash t so double quote oh, sorry yeah i need to close it i need to close this so that's how i just need to create the awk file now here is the point that do you have to execute this awk file separately in the sense no you don't have to execute it but uh, for suppose in this uh, tcl script itself you need to include one extra line here so what is that extra line which you supposed to include so that let me show you here now so yeah so this is where you already have this uh, executing the nam file this is where you will have to add one more line so g for gnu editor open with the awk file with the gnu editor so it is what here and which what is our name of the awk file it is the 4.awk and that awk file has to work on which it is the on the a.dot yeah so remember you are opening the awk file that has to work on the trace file so only it is 4.awk and 4.tr so this is the extra line which i just inserted right now so then later so now you execute as usual 4.acl so now so let this simulation be but i want you to make uh, be clear with respect to this part very importantly so that is what i am stressing upon from that time so you can get that you can get the details from the trace file like this so what is the event so the d event doesn't have the d it mean to say that, that there is no drop at all that you can prove from here otherwise have a separately awk file and where show the number of packets dropped here as zeros second thing is that uh, find out that uh, round trip time manually like this find out the beginning time find out the ending time of that particular round trip then subtract it whatever the time you get it is it is like this 0.23024 minus 0.2 you will get as 0.03024 which is exactly is equal to 30.24 milliseconds so he, otherwise you can prove like this so that is what by having uh, you can prove it from the trace file manually otherwise you can also have the separate code for that so both are possible so that is what the a uh, simple a uh, script this is script we had for this current a uh, problem whatever it is defined so i hope you understand this so then running and looking into it it is as usual you can uh, run it no issue so where is my zero so zero is here so let me run it uh, for again so this already i said so only the thing that even though the node contain the network contains six nodes but uh, only you will be working with only the uh, two nodes will be considering which is zero and the two so zero will be sending the request packet ping request packet whereas two will be responding back to the uh, ping echo packet or you call it as re reply packet and based on the problem so we set at the 0 0.2 0 0.4 0 0.6 and 0 0.8 seconds because in the problem itself it is given that you need to working work for make sure that uh, time interval of 0 0.2 seconds so that is what the uh, similar current simulation so you i hope you understand now okay if you have any queries you can you are welcome to put any comments in my comments box so i am uh, ready to respond back as well okay thank you for the session